Okay, so let's take a look at how to set up a Python or an interactive Python assignment in Virtual Programming Lab that gets auto graded in Moodle. All right, so I'm going to turn editing on and I'm going to add an exercise or an activity to Moodle or E class. Click Virtual Programming Lab right there and I'll give it a name. And, and this is going to be just a regular hello world kind of assignment, nothing fancy just to show you how it works. So I'm naming the assignment right here. So again, I'm in instructor mode on Python or in eClass right now, and I'm giving a short description. And typically you wanna give a longer description with hints and that for the students. It's gonna be out of 100, this uh, particular assignment. And uh, I'm gonna set, do some settings here. I'm gonna to go to execution files. I'm gonna say what I'm looking for in the output from the Python program the student's going to write or the template that I'll give to the students. So right here I have to say that uh, we have a particular test case. We can have multiple test cases and the output for the test case is going to be hello world or what we're going to be comparing is the string hello world like that to what the student produces in their Python program. All right so I go back to that gear I go to requested files and this is where we put the student template. So it's important to give it a, a good name, and uh, but what's critical is the file extension. So .py for a Python program, because VPL will recognize that as Python and use the Python tools to, uh, to run it. So print and hello world, that's the string that'll be printed out. I save it using the diskette icon. And now I'm gonna go back to that gear. I'm gonna look at execution options. So I want to make sure that I run, that I can evaluate, and that auto grade. And I can choose Python explicitly, or I can just rely on the .py as being um, the hint that VPL needs to, to choose Python as the uh, environment to, to run the program. All right, so next up, we're in student mode. Oh no, sorry, not yet. We're not in student mode yet. Um, if we are not running off of the uh, Spanish servers, which we shouldn't be, um, we specify the local server at York uh, right here in local execution servers, and we end that list with end of jails. So that's that's an important little phrase to put. Okay. And yeah, that was that's what's going to be uh, that's what the um, student is going to end up using as their code template. We could make it more difficult than that. We could make them write the whole thing, but uh, for the purpose of this exercise, we're going to switch over to demo student now, and we're going to have the demo student or the fake student run that particular program. All right, so there's the template right there. We could also go and get it through the grade book uh, menu. So here you can see there's the assignment. It's been assigned to zero grade so far. We click on the name of the assignment, get back to the same place. Here we're gonna run this homework assignment right here. It prints out hello world. I could have edited it. I could have made it different. I've evaluated it now. And it gives the student a grade out of 100. 100 out of 100, one test run, one test passed. The student then goes back into the grade book and checks to make sure they received the grade. And they did.